Family Guy, one of the greatest cartoons of all time. One of the greatest adult cartoons of all time. The greatest segment following cartoon. God damn. Family Guy is a show that refuses to die. Like Spongebob, but worse. Way worse. Unlike Spongebob, Family Guy hasn't really recovered since its Dark Ages. Hell, you would think that the show is getting better after we get episodes like Stewaway and Adoption, but there's still going to be episodes like Adult Education and The Bottle episode. And that's just the previous season. I only watched the first episode of the newest season, and so far it's kind of weird because May becomes a surrogate for Bruce and tries to keep the baby for herself because the family likes the baby and treats her better because the baby is there, which just tells you how bad Badly, Meg is abused by her family. Yeah, that's how Flynn Rice's characters are. Today, in the spirit of Christmas, I'll try to rank all the Family Guy Christmas specials because despite this show being a bit mediocre, I love it. And at some point, I have to make a Family Guy video. Plus, my last Christmas ranking did so well, and I thought you would like to see something like this again. So now, make sure to go relax by the campfire, get yourself some hot cocoa or eggnog, and now I'm gonna go link the Family Guy Christmas specials. Honestly, I was debating on even putting the Brian episode or the Lois episode here. But after thinking it over and realized that I hate Lois way more than Brian, that I decided to put the Lois episode here instead. So enjoy. In the episode The First Note, L, Lois decides to leave her family for Christmas because she thinks that Christmas will be ruined without her. And when she leaves, the family actually decides to give a crap about Christmas, which makes Lois mad because she is a psychopath and tries to ruin Christmas for them. Wow, can't you tell this is a worse version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas? If Lois was removed from the episode, it would actually be watchable because it's nice to see Peter caring about his kids and genuinely having fun with them. Because for most of the time, back then or hell even now, he treats his kids like garbage. And if for some reason can understand still we have the time. Seeing how he acts with his kids in this episode convinces me that he actually hates Lois and takes out that anger on the people around him, including his children. I don't know if this led to his man problems in the newest season or Lois becoming more and more of an asshole as the show goes on. For all we know, it's probably both. I know that they give her a gift in the end because they care with air quotes, but I honestly believe that they did that so Lois wouldn't kill them. Lois is just the worst here. I get that it's kind of fucked up that her family is happier without her around, but at the same time, they had every reason to not want her there. And that's all I gotta say about this episode. Fuck you, Lois. What? No, oh, I'm not alone on Christmas. I'll have you know, I'm actually here with my family, Bloofus and Christmas Crime is an episode that I also really hate and it's also a bit unfunny. This episode, Brian is tired of Christmas like all of us when we all found out that Santa isn't real, so I'm not sorry to the little kids that are watching this. So he gets drunk and accidentally runs over a Jesus nativity scene. Because Brian is a drunk idiot, he decides to hide the evidence in a Spirit Airlines parking lot because it's Spirit Airlines. Then Stewie snitches on Brian, so Mayor Wild West what a cancel Christmas. So Brian is now in jail and after seeing all of the happy families, he realizes that Christmas has meaning. And the episode ends with Brian back with his family and the spy toy bankrupting China because Family Guy writers think that it's only China would want to steal our private information, even though that's every country including the US would want to do that. Yeah, I really hate the weird ass information panda gag. We really like the concept of the episode but the execution sucks. Probably because the studio probably doesn't let the writers eat until the episode is finished because how? How could you mess up an episode this badly? If Ryan was visited by three ghosts that looked like Frank Sinatra Jr., the episode would have been at least watchable. Unlike Lois, I felt a bit sorry for Brian. 
I can relate to Christmas losing its meaning and becoming over a satire of commercialism and Christians debating on Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays as if that's an important issue. Bro, nobody cares! Either way, people are going to complain because Avius exists. They don't celebrate holidays. This episode treats Brian like shit and it's very, very unwatchable. Also, I hate Mayor Wild West. Not Juan Swanson is just too boring. I miss Adam West. Yeah, we all read your tweets. Smash that like button. Christmas is coming. It's about me. Going to take Stewie to see Santa Claus. And while seeing Santa Claus, Meg starts to... Um... Cream corn. Which traumatizes Stewie, blah, blah, blah. We, we all know what happens in this episode. We all know why it's in the spot. Let's move on. The Christmas Guy is an episode that sucks because it brought Brian back from the dead. Yeah, um, pretty much to understand this episode, first I have to talk about the episode Life of Brian. In the episode Life of Brian, Brian gets hit by a car and dies, which is morbid as hell for a Family Guy episode. After that episode, Brian gets replaced by Vinny, an Italian stereotype, and it caused every cartoon YouTuber under the sun to talk about this episode. Honestly, at this point in the show, Brian was becoming an ass. Killing him was a bit too harsh, but nowadays I don't mind if they kill him because of how annoying he's getting, but at the same time I would say that about any of the Griffins except for Stewie for obvious reasons. The episode Christmas Guy is just about everyone being mad at Carter for canceling the Christmas pageant, and Stewie is sad that Brian is dead. And after seeing a past version of himself in a store, he uses his time machine to go back in time to stop Brian from being hit by a car. And unfortunately, Brian gets to live another day and Vinny is probably dead off screen, as this mediocre special ends. It is obvious to why I think this episode is bad, and I don't want to waste time repeating what many other YouTubers said before me. If the Family Guy writers wanted to kill off Brian, they should have committed to the bit or probably let there be a time paradox so they could have an excuse not to bring him back. And honestly, Vinny should have never been a Family Guy character. Sorry, not sorry. Ryan, look out! This was a last minute entry that isn't really interesting or funny. In the episode, The Return of Kings and Queens is about Kevin James staying with the Griffins because Lois sold the TV to get the children Christmas gifts, which somehow affects Kevin James. Honestly, I'm mentally checked out after watching this shit twice, and it's just Peter bitching about how cable is better than streaming even though this age is either good or bad depending on who you are. This episode felt like a boomer complaining about their kids taking away their direct TV box. Honestly, if it ended with the characters realizing they can just pirate shows, that it would have been a bit funnier. But either way, it would have been on the spot regardless. Plus, Kevin James becoming irrelevant doesn't make sense because he's friends of Adam Sandler. And the Sandman doesn't let his friends become irrelevant. He would just make a bad, weird movie with them because it gets the YouTubers talking. Also, seeing Kevin James almost disappear made me want a Kevin James ghost movie. Please give us a Kevin James ghost movie, Adam. If you can make Rob Schneider into a teenage girl, then Kevin James should be a ghost. Kevin James? Hi, Peter. It's the biggest Christmas party of the season, and you're invited. Welcome to the Christmas party on Boomerang. We're so glad you were here, and they hope you come back to the party next year. 
finally an episode that isn't complete garbage. World to the North Pole is about Brian and Stewie going to the North Pole so Stewie can kill Santa Claus. Probably because he goes to that Danny Gonzalez song. Honestly, it is very catchy though. Then when they get to the North Pole, it turns out that it's a depressing place and that Santa is dying. So Brian and Stewie become Santa Claus because they feel bad for it. And because this is a dog and a baby being Santa Claus, everything goes wrong. And then they tell the people of Quahog that they're all a bunch of selfish herds that ask too much of Santa Claus and his little incest elves. And everyone in Quahog agrees to ask for one thing as the episode ends. Yeah, this two-parter is alright, but part one is literally just half cutaways, half story. In part two, honestly could have been done in the end of part one. In part two, would've existed because there would be no filler if it was all just one part. Plus, Seth MacFarlane's dad being the episode's host makes no sense to me. It feels weird. It's not like he's Patchy the Pirate or Chowder's Wisdom Tooth. There's nothing interesting about him other than the fact that he's old and makes weird jokes. Plus, I hate the opening song. No offense to people who like it, but it just sounds like a bunch of selfish idiots who want on a lot of shit because they're a bunch of shits. Honestly, Spongebob has the better role to Christmas, mainly because it has no annoying song and point and goes on a killing spree because unlike Stewie, Sheldon J. Poynton has balls. Please put me out of my misery. A 500 year old version really, really sucks. It does. It sucks. In this episode, Jesus is back after being hooked on drugs in the episode I Dream of Jesus. And he's somehow a virgin, which doesn't make sense because it is implied that he raped one of the Olsen twins and I Dream of Jesus. So Peter, Joe, and Quagmire... <laughs> tried to help him get laid because he's Jesus Christ. Then Jesus asked Peter if he can have relations with Lois because Lois is a cartoon milk. First, Peter doesn't want Jesus to have intercourse with his wife, then Jesus offers him a cool ass massage chair from the mall. Peter agrees that now Lois is going to get the third base with our Lord and Savior. Then Peter shows up to stop them because he found out that Jesus was lying because for some reason he likes going around doing of people's wives. I don't remember that being in the Bible. Then Lois reveals that her and Jesus were never going to have intercourse and that she loves Peter too much. And the episode ends blah blah blah. This is the worst Jesus episode in the whole show. And there's like three of them so far. I don't know what the writers were on to make them write a episode about Jesus wanting to bang Rollis of all people. This episode is just weird and terrible. Let's move on to the next one. Don't believe in is getting to bang the woman of your dream. I'm out of here. Ryan, look out! <laughs> In the episode Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Peter tells his family the story of the birth of Christ, but it's a Family Guy parody. It's a weird choice for the writers to be like, let's do a Bible parody. But after watching this episode, I found it to be alright. The jokes are funny and it was nice to see Peter spending time with his family instead of getting drunk at the clam of his friends. Honestly, this isn't an episode I would go out my way to watch, like all the episodes that are lowered in this in the ring. But if you're drunk and for some reason want to hear an abridged version of Jesus' birth story, I highly recommend it. You sure this is the right way? We follow the star. It's got flashing red lights! And I said that yesterday, you stupid- how the Griffin Stole Christmas is the last Matt episode in this ranking. And ironically, it's the best of the Matt. Also, I forgot to mention in that part of the video that the episode title should have been the title of the Lois episode, but missed opportunity there. They wasted it. Jesus Christ, Seth, what is your team on? And that probably tells you how bad Film Guy has gotten throughout the years. In the episode, How the Griffin Stole Christmas, Peter gets a job as a mall Santa, and after going into a bar dressed as Santa Claus, 
he realizes that Santa Claus can get free drinks because I guess the citizens of Quahog are dumber than the citizens of Bikini Bottom. So he takes advantage of everyone's stupidity to get free beers. Then the real Santa shows up to tell Peter to stop dressing up like him. Peter doesn't listen to him because he's dumb and the next time Santa sees him, he beats the hell out of Peter. <laughs> until he agrees to never dress up as Santa again. And the episode ends. Yeah, it's a pretty mad episode that didn't really annoy me. The people of Brian and Stewie in the office was all right and the best part of the episode was when Santa was beating up Peter, which is why he's in the spot. I'm not kidding. Peter deserved to get beaten by this man. Stop wearing that suit or else. Or else what? <laughs> Don't be a dickens, at Christmas is just Peter doing a Christmas carol, but with Patrick Swayze's ghost because he was in the movies Ghost and Roadhouse. It's weird that they didn't get you, Lori, to make a guest appearance as House so he could be the ghost of Christmas future, but I guess he was probably busy watching Doctor Who or whatever British people do on Christmas. Honestly, this is the first truly watchable episode in this ranking. Yeah, the beginning is just Peter being a dumbass idiot but the episode really gets good when Swayze shows up. Yeah, it suffers from 2010's Family Guy Syndrome, but for the most part, I had fun watching this episode. Oh, the reason why Peter becomes a better person in the end is because he doesn't want to end up being a dog fart. And the dance he does with Patrick Swayze in the end is just hilarious. Oh my god, they got Quagmire! Hallelujah! Worship the Jesus! <laughs> In the episode, it's a freaking Family Guy Christmas. Peter, after a tiring night driving around Joe, Quagmire, and Cleveland, accidentally gives the gifts meant for the family to Toys for Tots because Peter is a dumbass, causing the family to go to the mall to do some late last minute shopping. And because of Peter being a dumbass, the house nearly burns down, destroying the Christmas tree, and while also Brian almost dies from all of this. This causes Brian to get mad at Peter, and well, calms them both down and reminds them that they still have each other and that their family. Then Meg tells Lois that they're out of paper towels and she starts to go insane and tries to steal the Christmas star at City Hall because she is crazy. Then Stewart gives a somewhat inspirational speech and this somehow makes Lois not want to steal the star anymore. But because of Peter being an idiot, the cops temporarily paralyze her and the episode ends. Yeah, this show has no truly great Christmas specials in it. This episode is good, but it's not a really wow, fantastic episode. Don't get me wrong, it was a fun watch, but this episode at times could be a bit aggravating, thanks to Peter being a bit unlikable. The story, jokes, and that scene with Frosty the Snowman made up for it. I'm sorry Patrick Swayze, but Frosty the Dumbass Snowman is way more iconic than you. Plus the fact that this episode had more story structure than the last one tells you how much Family Guy relies on cutaway gangs. This was a hard ranking to make with all these episodes being a bit random, but in the end, I did it. And Family Guy, it's not a Christmas show. It was wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this ranking. It was somewhat fun to do. It wasn't entirely enjoyable. It was interesting to say the least. I got to see Family Guy get worse and worse to its Christmas specials and a part of me thinks it's never gonna recover from this. Do you want me to do another Family Guy ranking? Let me know in the comments. I'm always open to doing more Family Guy videos. This has been Alberto and Merry Christmas and go to hell, Peter.